What is the purpose of transpeptidation process in Escherichia coli? For this question, we just really have to state the basics, the basis of this transpeptidation and what kind of benefits it gives for E. coli. So for a transpeptidation process, this is really involved in peptidoglycan synthesis. And transpeptidation is the process of removing D-alanine from peptidoglycan. And this removal of D-alanine in peptidoglycan really allows a new synthesized, newly synthesized peptidoglycan molecules to be incorporated into the inner membrane. So you have old peptidoglycan molecules that may need to be repaired or it's time to destroy them and so on. You always want to repair something. For example, if you've used pencil for a very long time and now it doesn't have enough lead, you would buy new pencil and replace it. It's the same idea. Cell always needs to repair and replace the older versions that are damaged or most likely going to be damaged to prevent any damage coming in and directly to the cell. Especially for these organisms, they are unicellular, which means that they have to survive on their own. And if they die, they're, they're dead. Whereas for humans, we have a lot of skin cells. If we shed one, it's not a big deal because there's a lot more. So we're not gonna die directly. And that is why for these organisms, they would want to have the Different, time, different types of mechanisms or process to prevent any damage before it actually gets bad. So going back on to the question, so removal of the alanine, okay, we know that it's going to help synth uh, incorporate newly synthesized peptidoglycan molecules into the inner membrane. And inner membrane, because you would always want to start adding new stuff closest to the where it was made in cytoplasm you're going to incorporate it into the inner membrane and the older peptidoglycan molecules will be pushed to the outer membrane because the E. coli have outer membrane and once that happens then it's going to be um, well they're going to get rid of it somehow when it's in outer membrane but it's still useful and another thing to note is that D-alanine also acts as it huh, also acts as a signal to tell the cell that peptidoglycan is matured or old. Because if D-alanine is present, it means that it's most likely matured peptidoglycan. So what is so good about D-alanine? Well, it actually allows denser cross-linking of peptidoglycan, which means that if there is more D-alanine, peptidoglycan will be much stronger. And this is because it's more difficult for peptidase to break down D-alanine than L-alanine. So having more D-alanine is another way for microbes to become more virulent too, because it will help them survive longer inside host or plant immune system they're going to survive and they're going to be able to infect more of more parts in that in their host so this is some things to keep in mind and you just have to really outline the basics and this is just for your understanding you don't really need to add this uh, well if you want to but I just thought it'd be nice to really understand why D-alanine is important in the first place.